Which way do I go? There's an igloo here. <laughs> that is indeed a, an igloo. It's just an igloo. Yep, nothing to see here. You think you see the igloo move a bit. You comment on the igloo's fine craftsmanship. It's an igloo. Thanks, I mean igloo. The igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding. It's just an igloo. Do a little dance. Someone has to come out to investigate. Oh. Um, hi. Can I join? Compliment Frosterbit's hiding skills. Really? Ninja like? You start doing a crab walk dance. Frostermit jumps in. Next time I'll lead. What? Oh, that's a cool animation. Frostermit mitt is ready to scuttle on its way. Oh, these guys are cute. You feel heat coming from the pile of stones. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says we knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. An idea of where we could get a map? Is that sort of like a side quest? We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Oh? This is a box. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay there. Until you take it out, that is. Then it's not there. And then there are more of these boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff you put in this box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater. Wow. How rude. Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check! Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. To whom it may concern, in accordance with Royal Guard Guidebook for Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle was intended to impede the progress of an intruder. Probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that, just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking through. Sign Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Martlet? Huh. Marley? I assume Martlet, actually. Oh, there's a save point. What does this say? Dear owners of Dilip 
dilapidated? Wow, that's not a word I've ever heard. My cabin. First, I'm very sorry that your cabin is so dilap dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 42, Paragraph 1. So long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or for other diversions. Howdy! How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. It's a snow castle. How cute. <laughs> I like this guy. I read something in a book once. It said, if life comes at you too fast, press X and take it slow. Whatever that means. Take the ice pellets? Sure. What's this? A new customer? Bam! Who am I? Nobody have known. You know. Just the best darn salesman ever! Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways. The fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? No, you don't. Liquids? So last season. Solids? Ha! Season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three, three weeks. I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15 gold, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once a boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No. You sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Come with a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. What the heck? Bye, I guess. I'm gonna go give this to the guy who needs that. Oh, come on. No cone comes to see if you're made of fire. You aren't. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot melt, no cone! No cone not know this! You good friend, no cone! No cone has been enlightened. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. You open the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. Oh boy, OG, a customer! I'm nervous. I'm Melwell from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us UGBS. UGPS, God. So I heard you're new to the Underground. How you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Cause I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. Howdy! Must say, I didn't remember this place being so... You know. Colorful. Really can't go two seconds without being harassed around here. Hasn't everyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to Asgore, I don't see why we need them. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. 
the remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for a new life. Wow. Inspirational. Hey, watch it. Ho ho ho, would you look at that. I think this chump wants a pass. Swig a toast, come over here. What is this? Yeah, boss? What's up, you need to shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ha, you wouldn't get nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Um, anyway, the name's Rafil. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're gonna have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will ya? Jeez. We Shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. Catch my gr- You try to- bleh. You try- You- you catch my drift? We'd like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. We'll take this ball ear and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose, we'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? That makes things easy then. Here we go. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. Doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Shoot. <laughs> Let's go. I'm good at this. I totally did it first try. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. No, no, Toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss. A shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid. We'll let you pass through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name, and we'll be on your side if you ever need us. Shufflers always protect a friend, right boys? Yeah, you got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah, handle. You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the Shufflers proud. If you don't, you might wind up an old discarded tea bag. You're in the Shufflers neighborhood now. You wanna pass through here? You gotta get through us. We got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snow Wind. Have you seen those lawyers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned game, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I came off as stress, but you know why that is. I have a theory, see? Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work, and laundry, and, 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 and some starvation, and so on. Those are important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though, and you know what that 
Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Can I buy stuff from you? Give me your stuff. You want to talk? Um, well, this resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Where was it my great-great-grandfather? I... I can't answer this because of a simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. So, uh, more about this place. Our amenities are neat. The honey cooler, our conveyed money machine... That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but the thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. Hey, kid, the get-up! I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Like a place that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging out with those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with ya. <laughs> How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear it too? Right on, dude. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the allies, aliases they use in hotels. Oh. Great. Huh, this is kind of like Santa's place. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two men, so my warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left man took a vacation or something. It just left me. cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, crazy? That's the, the theming. I need something hot that not that hot. Bruh. Today than usual, huh? Bridge slippery during snowfall, no running. Real guards thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes. Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge at once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would call it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. Steps to the east, second sign. Perfect. Shh. 
try Hector wobbles forward. You attempt to climb Tri Hector. Tri pushes you away for stepping on them. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure were impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you ran into him. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Yo, I got a pancake! was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a little bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it! I knew I'd find a human! You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on the poster I saw once. He had a hat just like you. And he was totally human, so like... Trans... Transitive property or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Martlet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1, be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I space out with stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. Uh, uh, hold on, I have the guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I apprehended this girl. Toll human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Ah, royal guards are supposed to, are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2, my attack. That one got me. 
That was only a warm-up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. This intruder. Phew, this is a real workout. Keep it up, Martlet. one more time. That can't be right, you're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you, you're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn, I'm gonna check that handbook again. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive, like, What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Aggressive right here. Come on, get aggressive. I can take it, I swear. Sticks and stone make me break my bones, but worse can only make me sad. Come on, get aggressive. Oh. Oh, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. You aren't making this e easy here. Here I go, protocol and all that, for the Royal Guard. Oh, good lord. Good lord. No. No. I believe in you. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rag like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night to them or anything. <laughs> oh, right, it's my turn. Dig into some deep aggression. Break down my self-esteem until it's a pile of metaphorical rubble. Crush my mental health like it's bug under your shoe. Wait, do you crush bugs? I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I can say goodbye to Royal Garden. And all the nice perks that come with it. My cousin uniforms, my Royal Card discount at the movies, my nice insurance rates. But they find out about how much I hesitated here, I do I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it. If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke pro protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. We'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your pace to Asgore. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home.
Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think that I went a little overboard, but... I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively. We don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. In the wire sits an old-looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Bo boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? If my map and memory serve, this river should lead directly to Hotland. From there is a hop, skip, and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize about, well, you know, attacking you. I meant no harm, honest. I just have to do my job, is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So, I know we just met and all, but will you trust me on this? Yay, yeah, don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the case may be. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all my life's work and belongings, but hey! What's life without a little risk? So shall we be off then? Wait, hold on. I was supposed to be on Ava with you. So, hi. So I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sales, does this still count as selling? Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor, an older fellow by the name of Chujin. Chujin? He taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Hey, would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Wait, really? I got a three! I've never gotten a three before! Oh my goodly goodness! I can't believe it, I got a three! I have to tell absolutely everyone! Okay, sorry, I got here in a way. Let's keep going! Question two. On a scale from one to two, how would you rate the puzzles to play in Snowden? Really? Thanks, I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. <gasps> the Royal Scientist. I wonder who it is. I mean, it's because I'm the last choice of station, but still. You pick up a few things guarding all the science, that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question 3. On a scale of 1 to 4, how do you rate the auditory ambient? What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as a dead center for the rest. Does that sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a 2 there, and a 3, and a 2, point one five here, and a 23, and we're done! Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need your name for legal purposes. You know how it gets. It's Clover. What a neat name. I love it. So, Clover, let's talk about Ava. Isn't she great? I told ya, sounds like a dream, like a perf from a perfect wool buy. Nice pace preview, and not a single leak. Oh, well, there's a little one, but not too many leaks. We can just sit back and relax and hey, do you hear an abnormal amount of running water? Oh, no. Well, we are marvel. Is it just me or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it helps. Uh-oh! Um, I might not have been down this route before. Hold on to something. Hey, look, it's Hotland! This is our stop! Wait, we have to dock here. Slow down.
Oh no, 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 no! Hello, Clover? Are you okay? Oh no, no, no! You stay right there. I'll go get help. Well, I'm not dead. Viator. Great. Howdy, Clover. What a day this has been. Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course. It looks like she ditched you as well. I guess it can't be helped now. There's gotta be another route to Azor's castle here. Tough it out for now, we'll see where this new ta path takes us. A little excitement will never hurt anyone. Well, except you. Let me heal you up. So, uh, I really wish we got to go to the true lab, or just the lab in general, but I guess not. A minecart sits lodged into the ground. You have no idea how this came to be. Some hefty boxes lie in the dirt. They seem to have been here for a long time. Northern caverns up ahead. Mines, property of Mining Co. Dune Bud popped out of the sand. Oh god, it's the guy from the trailer. You shake Dune Bud back and forth. They giggle at you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is just like in the trailer. Oh, I'm already gonna die. How cute it is! A warning danger sign to head. Oh, dangerous sandstorm ahead. Great. suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't wrap me out, okay? The paint is still wet. Oh, I was literally in the safe area. What do you mean? I can't sandstorm the sandstorm. <laughs> oh my god. No shot. Are you kidding me? I'm so mad. I just. <laughs> I, I am so mad. <laughs> this sucks. Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. How did you know my name? I told you that my name was Hat Boy. Sir Slither has a proposition. Real. 
Why, why does it say real? Oh, I've been hypnotized. Oh, that attack sucks. <laughs> what the frick? Oh god, it's him. Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that, we don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand. New offer. A hot climate calls for a height item. Check it. That's right. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water. Catchy name, I know. Lucky for you, I'm getting out free samples. Want a glass? Come right up. One moment. If you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all of that. Here's my real project. I see you. It's like the sequel to Water. Way better. Now I'ma be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but that melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there and wham! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Gold. What have we got this time? Cactony comes to share his plan pain. I, I thought that said plan, but no, it says pain. feels like. What does that mean? Oh, it's a time thing. Oh. love for the first time. That's so cute. It's mine in time. In case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. Great. Great. Great idea. I didn't think of that before. Haven't seen you around the mines, friend. Welcome to the greatest place in the underground. I love it here. Everyone is so nice and works hard. We're a real family. You a new hire? If I were you, I'd turn back now. I've been working this job for 12 years and I've about had enough. I'm probably the only monster that does their job around here. You look familiar. I feel like I know this character. As a slime, I'm outraged. In case of fire, use stairs. What stairs? H how am I going to get my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man, jam! Oh, fiddlesticks! I've seen a few pickles in my day, and this is certainly one of them. Tell you what, I'll give you my trusty pickaxe here if you. Win a monster trivia game! Oh boy, this will be fun. All I have to do is answer these questions correctly. You only get one try, so do your best. Question one. Who is the current royal scientist? Oh. 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 Oh god. Oh, it is Alphys. Alphys was a royal scientist at this time. Yippee! I 
got it right. You use the pickaxe to hack away at the wood. The pickaxe broke. of water, swim. Golly, the emblems on these miner uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss around here. Jokes aside, you got some smarts. Fix that elevator with ease. Proud of ya. Thanks, Folly. Bowel. <laughs> bull? Oh, it's a bull. <laughs> I was like, um... What? There's a dog in their back. Oh, okay. Hey, Toby. I'm like keeping my distance so I can charge at you later. isn't as fast as the other one. You tell Bull he's cool the way he is. Really? You mean it? Oh god, now I have to do it backwards. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too traumatic for me. Bull. I didn't know I could reflect so much. Thank you. Whoa, you're a tall guy. Hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo-jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, Corbett said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door while until work's done. Pretty unnecessary, if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. Job. I knew you could do it, kid. Won't be another job until tomorrow. I could spend the rest of my workday doing absolutely nothing. Oh wait, I already was. No! Don't get stuck in the corner. Oh wait, I can't get out from here. What? That's not what I did. go, big man. That hat grew a lot. <laughs> you, you found my hat. You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I'm eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. Yippee. Oh, it's not an item. <laughs> oh, good for you.
I just adore mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Can find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Welcome to the mining co mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. Gilbert, please. We've been married 27 years. You can handle the questions yourself. So certainly, dear. Ahem. If you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone cold packs later today. And if you're gonna ask about the falling rocks, I'm gonna investigate it soon. No one need to worry. Everything is fine. So, what is it? The elevator was broken? That can't be right. We prefer to... You're a horrible person. Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How many help you? Foreman right there over there is my help. <laughs> Married couples, man. An empty cart sits on the rails. Hop in. through the whole mine? What a journey. For your travels, I'll let you in for on a little secret. You see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. We're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see? They're also very... Oh my god. You saw nothing. Great. Enjoy your tasty rocks, man. To the mountaintop. Cool shades recommend me. I don't have any cool shades. This is a sad day. Would you look at that? I can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh, <laughs> Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See? He's what they call a boss monster. It means he has special traits, more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before, boom, you win. I've heard the guy's immortal too. Can't age a second. At least not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all a show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. A true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. <laughs> 